what? I wasn't gonna come up with a more topical joke than that. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Stimulus. I'm Steph Evans, and here's what happened this week in STEM. Today we're talking about the platypus, the creature seemingly created from the spare parts in the evolutionary grab bag. It seems that their milk may have medical applications. According to a team of molecular biologists from Australia's National Science Agency, CSIRO, the milk of a platypus has a unique chemical structure that may help when combating superbugs or bacteria that have built up a resistance to antibiotics. Back in 2010, scientists discovered that platypus milk contains a protein capable of fighting these superbugs, which led to researchers wanting to learn what might cause this. Platypuses are monotremes, which means that they are mammals that are able to both lay eggs and produce milk. They are one of only three species that fall under this classification, the other being two different species of echidna. Another thing that makes the platypus such a unique creature is that it doesn't feed its young through teats. Instead, they concentrate their milk to their belly and sweat it out to feed their young. As a result, their milk is less sterile for their young, so the thought is that's why the milk has its antibacterial properties. To analyze the milk, the team isolated the monotreme lactation protein structure for the first time ever, and the protein structure they saw was one in a million, or actually more like one in more than 100,000, which is the approximate number of different protein structures known to biologists. Since it had a curly shape that resembled the tight ringlets found on the head of 1930 star Shirley Temple, the team named the protein after her. That's when you know you made it, y'all, when there's a protein named after you. I sincerely doubt she found any platypuses among the animal crackers in her soup, though. Just saying. The scientists were interested in the structure of the protein since the shape of the protein defines its function. Since the structure of this antimicrobial protein is unlike any scientists have ever seen, they suspect that it would function differently than antibiotics on the market. Since we're constantly battling different strains of superbugs that build up a resistance to our current antibiotics, this could be a huge deal. Future researchers will likely work to demonstrate that this protein is capable of knocking out antibiotic-resistant bacteria by introducing them and then letting them go 12 rounds in a petri dish. It's worth noting that platypuses aren't the only creatures getting studied more in depth for potential antibiotic solutions. Komodo dragons are also on the list due to their blood potentially being a source of new antibiotics. So that brings us to our question of the day. Platypuses are pretty unique when it comes to animals, but they're far from the only weird ones out there. What is your favorite unique animal and why? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, if you wanna check out this story a little bit more in depth, I will include links to my sources down below, along with links to all of my social media and my Patreon page. So feel free to check that out in your free time. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of my future STEM-related content. Throughout the week, if you see any cool current STEM-related news stories, please feel free to send them to me on Twitter at @thestimulus using the hashtag twistem and they just might make it into a video. But with that, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time.